Garrett, thank you very much. Continuing our team coverage now with News 8's Kyla Russell. Kyla, I understand you spent this evening chatting with voters. Yeah, Phil. So I went to two bustling spots downtown to catch up with Hoosiers and hear where they're at after today's news. And it's safe to say people are feeling a range of emotions. Mass Ave and Monument Circle were buzzing as Hoosiers turned on their phones to find out President Biden dropped out of the race. For some, the news comes as a relief. Yeah, I was sitting in church and my buddy told me, he like looked over at me and I was like, yo, Biden just dropped out. And I was like, oh, that's kind of crazy. Like Andrew Parker will vote for the very first time come November. As a staunch Republican, he's happy to hear the news. For others, though, relief isn't the word they'd use. I just feel sad that she dropped out of the race at this point. I hope she, he could he had uh, endorsed somebody else other than, you know, what he, who he endorsed. And for others, Biden's decision only reinforced their plan. I think I'm going to vote for Trump. I like Trump. I've been like Trump since the beginning. So, yeah, I'm going to vote for Trump. What I heard most, though, many don't have a clear sense of the decision they'll have to make come November and that they're considering not voting at all. Honestly, I really didn't even want to vote. Just because, but I know, like people tell me it's a bad thing if you don't vote, but I don't know. I just feel like the way things are going right now, it's sort of hard to even say you should vote. Mark said he lost faith in Biden's ability to lead after his performance in June's presidential debate, mostly because of his age. Biden is currently 81 years old and will be 82 just after November's election. Before pulling out of the race, he was the oldest candidate to run for president in American history. His decision now makes Donald Trump the oldest. Now, after Biden endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris as the Democratic nominee, I asked voters what they'd think of Harris at the top of the ticket. There was a mixed response, but several told me they feel it's too late for her to run a proper campaign for the position. I'm Kyla Russell for Wish TV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates.